Hi everyone, so we got a question about how to best sew ribbons and elastic on gator mindens, which we know firsthand is a little tricky. Um, so we have a few tips for you coming up right now. Okay, so the first thing with gainer mindens and sewing ribbons and elastic is that you have to sew all the way through to the satin. You can't separate the inner lining from the outer satin, so make sure you go all the way through. Things one, which is fine, no one's gonna see it if you use pink thread. Um, my second tip is to use a really sharp, thin needle. Mm -hmm. The thicker the needle, the harder it is to push through both layers. I know it's like totally counterintuitive. Thin needle, sharp needle, like as thin as you can still get your thread through. <laughs> Um, another fun tip is that our Luke's satin is actually much easier to sew. Yes. So if you're not familiar with the Luke's satin, it's a softer satin. There's some foam between the inner lining and the outer satin, mm -hmm. and it's much easier to sew than our standard Hi everyone, so sorry. We just got all your messages about the problems with the sound. Um, on the other videos, we've been really busy here at YAGP and checking people out, so we're just getting to it, but we're gonna re-answer those questions right now. Hey guys, okay, so the first question we answered was what to do if your box is too big. So the obvious solution is to get a smaller box. Um, so I think step one, try a smaller box size. Now, if your box is too big and you're stuck with your shoes, so they're not dead yet, or you're not ready for a new pair yet, there are a couple of things you can do to help um, fill up the extra space in the box uh, before you're ready to get a new pair. Sorry, sorry. So you guys can put in a liner. We make um, instant wings, which look like this, or a box liner, which looks like this. Both of those are gonna take up um, some space in the box and help support your foot a little bit more and make it more comfortable. If you put in a liner and the shoe still feels like the box is too big, then 100% you should get a smaller box the next time you go get point shoes. You can put, it, you can put in a toe pad, um, but don't use anything that's super, super thick, like the really thick blue silicone toe pad. The uh, bun heads, ouch pouch line, or the ouch pouches or the pro pads, those are really great padding to use. Um, Wear Ma makes a really nice, very thin silicone. The key is the thinner the better. So you want to fill up the space, but you don't want to make the shoe too small suddenly. The next question we answered was about our suede tip. So we had a question that asked what they do and then also if they um, affect your dancing at all when you switch from wearing a satin tip to a suede tip. So part one of the answer is that the satin or the suede tips help to last the shoes longer and they help kind of protect the front of the shoe. So if you are wearing gainer mindens and they wear out at the tip fastest, then a, uh, a suede tip would be a good option for you. They're also really great if you um, if you dance on a wood floor. If you dance on a marley floor, it doesn't really make much of a difference, but if you're on a wood floor or a, a, a weird surface, um, they're really, really helpful. And then lastly, does it affect your dancing? The answer is um, it might affect it a little bit at the beginning, but it really shouldn't affect it much. Uh, the suede's gonna feel maybe slightly stickier until it wears down a little bit, until it flattens, um, but then it feels pretty normal. Our next question uh, was about the box liners and if they are washable. So if um, you're getting a new pair of point shoes, get a new pair of box liners. Um, you can also just buy the box liners, so if they're really gross and you've had them for a while, just buy a new pair. It's better all around that way. So we got a question, um, how do you know when it's time to replace your Gainerman and point shoes? Um, the, the right answer really is, when you have a sense that the shoe is not fitting you, not fitting you like it uh, as closely as it was when you first were fit, if the material around the shank and box are giving a little bit, um, if you feel um, like it's not hugging your instep as much, the internal support of a Gainer Minden shoe will be there for the life of the shoe. The outer material of the shoe uh, wears out first, um, and thus you need to replace them. Plus, they just get a little dirty. Also, when the tips wear through to the shoe, of the shoe, you really do need to um, make sure that you're uh, not dancing on the exposed inner materials, um, even though the integrity of the shank and box are lifelong for the Gainer Minden. 
So we got a question about sickling only in one foot. It could be a couple things. Sometimes if one foot is a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, it sits differently in the shoe, so it won't fit quite the same as on your other foot. There are a couple things that you can do to fix the sickling in your in one foot. Um, one of those things is to check the fit of your shoe altogether. It could be that you're wearing a, a shoe that's too narrow for you in some way, either in the box or in the width. If you're not already and your fit is good, you can always try crisscrossing your elastics instead of just doing one loop around the ankle. This will allow the shoe to be pulled a little bit more straight and can help with sickling, especially if your fit is already good. Hi, so we had a question about what kind of toe spacer or toe pads you should wear in our point shoes. So we would recommend either our um, toe stabilizers, which is great because you can layer them to the actual natural width or natural space that you have in between your toes, or you could try your instant wings or box liners, which are thin enough that it isn't going to affect your fit. An added bonus about the instant winger box liner is that they give you the feeling of a toe pad without it being too bulky. So we got a question about how to three-quarter your shank on gainer mindens. And fun fact, the shank is actually already three-quartered. So you see how it slims out towards the bottom? That's your three-quartering, no work involved. So we got a question that came into our inbox uh, that was, how do I become a gainer girl? So as of today, the application process has opened to become a gainer girl. So head to dancer.com forward slash gainer girl search. And our last question for Fitting Friday is, is our studio bag coming back and where can I buy it? Really, really good news. The studio bag is coming back. We are restocking it sometime in June. Not exactly sure when yet, but we'll keep you guys updated, of course. And the big news this time, drum roll please. Studio bag will be available online at dancer.com and in stores worldwide. So if you know that you want one, Call your store, call your local Gainerman authorized retailer, and they can order you one.